my family, to my friends. To my beloved Adrian, to the people of Paris, I'm sorry, but please, day will come when my body will lie upon a white sheet, neatly tucked under four cards of mat, just a kid in a hospital, is it occupied with the living and the dying? At this very moment, a doctor will determine that my brain has ceased to fun function and that, for all intents and purposes, my life has stopped. When that happens, do not attempt to insult artificial life into my body by the use of a machine. I don't call this my deathbed. Let it be called the bed of life. I let my body be taken from it to help others lead fuller lives. Give my sight to the man who nev has never seen a sunrise, a baby's face, or love in the eyes of a woman. Give my heart to a person whose own heart has caused nothing but endless days of pain. Give my blood to the teenager who was pulled from the wreckage of his car so that he might love to see his grandchildren play. Give my kidneys to one who depends on a machine to exist. Take my bones, every muscle, every fibre and nerve in my body and find a way to make a crippled child walk. Explore every corner of my brain, take my cells if necessary, and let them grow so that someday a speechless boy will shout at the crack of a bat, and a deaf girl will hear the sound of rain against her window. Burn what is left of me, and scatter the ashes to the wind to help the flowers grow. If you must bury something, let it be my faults, my weaknesses, and all prejudices against my fellow people. If by chance, you wish to remember me. Do with a kind deed or work to someone who needs you. If do all I have asked, I will live forever.